I am still seeing three participants. Are you as well? Yeah. All right. I'm not going to start until people are here. <laughs> not to sound melancholy, but this may just be us. So. <laughs> yeah, our virtual visits have not been going very well either. We know how that is for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might get to the point where we, we just should do it without anyone so that the recorded one can be posted or sent Yes, out. I think that's a good call. Um, in fact, I'll give it like two more minutes and then... Right. Well, if you're fine, then I'll go ahead and stop sharing and I'll record. Does that sound good, Danielle? Yeah, of course. Sounds okay. good. Okay. All right. All right. So thank you everybody for coming today. Um, we'd like to just go ahead and tell you a little bit more about our program, uh, Life at the Art Academy, um, all the cool things we have going on here everything from faculty members to um, just life in general in Cincinnati, Ohio. So today we're gonna have kind of like a hybrid of me talking through a video um, and then also having the video kind of explaining a little bit more in depth about some programs and other information about the AAC. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with an intro video. At the Art Academy of Cincinnati, we are the new generation of boundary breakers and the imaginative radicals who are changing the face of art and design as we know it. The creative entrepreneurs who are redefining culture. Our first year curriculum is designed to prepare you for a future at the forefront of contemporary art and design. We know that 21st century art and design requires radical risk taking, that collaboration is at the heart of innovation, and that the future is made by thinking, creating, and solving real world problems in groundbreaking ways. <laughs> Actually, before we dive into the first year experience, I think I forgot to introduce myself and Sam. So my name is Danielle. I'm with the Art Academy of Cincinnati and I'm a missions counselor and international coordinator. I am an alumni of the Art Academy. I graduated in 2016 with a degree in painting and art history. And then today working in the chat is going to be Sam. He graduated in the year 2017 with a degree in sculpture. So um, it's going to be kind of nice hearing from us because we can give our own perspective from school, um, but also tell you a little bit more about um, the application process as well. So if you do have any questions, feel free to go into the Q&A and Sam will help you out there. Uh, so yeah, let's go back to the original part. Uh, so the first year experience is going to be a lot different than a standard um, first year freshman curriculum at um, maybe a standard state school or university. So you're gonna have a couple core classes. So that'll be communication, digital literacy, discovery and voice and ideation. And at the Art Academy, we really um, cherish the fact that you come in and you already have a great set of skills, but maybe you're looking to build upon those or maybe you come in with um, just a, a desire to just learn everything you possibly can. So we have students kind of in a range from all different types of levels of art knowledge, um, so we have you come in and take these courses mainly because we want you to use the knowledge you already have, but also pushing them in different boundaries. So an example for a class would be discovery and voice. And with that, you're really trying to push your own skill, but thinking in the designer's methodologies. So an example for that class would be, um, you have to design a wallet for someone specific. 
So that person could be someone with Alzheimer's or dementia or maybe Parkinson's. And you have to think, well, how can I design this wallet to best fit this person? But you're actually able to use any type of media that you want. So you could do a digital drawing, you could do a sculpture, um, you could do a photo collage. Um, so there's a lot of different things you can do in that class to really inspire you, but also um, not sort of tear you down. Because I know sometimes people come in freshman year of art school and they get really defeated. And they're like, oh, well, I'm just not the best at this. Whereas um, at the Art Academy, we want you to feel encouraged at every um, step of the way. And then also an example for that is going to be your electives. So a drawing elective is something you're going to do. And we also understand maybe you're the best at Photoshop or maybe you can make incredible sculptures, but maybe life drawing just isn't for you. We'll have about six or seven different types of drawing classes you can take. And that could be anywhere from creative writing and drawing to digital drawing and so on and so forth. Um, but also it's important to mention about our electives is that we do a major elective or a studio elective you can take freshman year. And the biggest difference between those is that a major elective is going to be something in your major. So kind of um, self-explanatory. So sometimes students come in and they actually know what major they want to do. They says, yes, I'm a photo major. That's exactly what I want to do. And I wanted to get, a, get into photo one immediately. Um, whereas other students come in and they're like, actually, I don't know what I want to major in. I'm kind of just testing the waters. So that's where the studio elective will come in. And that could be a class like typography, um, a sound art class, a sewing class, and so on. Um, so we try to really help you feel fulfilled um, coming into freshman year and that you're going to be an artist and you're not just like a freshman on campus. Um, so that way you're actually able to figure out, um, well, maybe I came in and I thought I wanted to be a photo major, but actually I really want to be a sculpture major. I'm really enjoying working with plaster or things like that. Um, so that's going to segue us into the next portion of the video. And with that, that's going to tell you a little bit more about um, our majors and minors we have here at the AAC. Our major fluid programs give you the freedom to experiment and explore across disciplines and the power to customize your education so it fits your vision. And our minors include art history, film, video, audio, and cannabis. Within our flexible curriculum, all majors can also be minors. Photography, print media, illustration, design, sculpture, creative writing, drawing and painting. Great, so you could see that we have quite a few different majors and minors. Um, however, we don't necessarily have you pigeonholed into one specific major. Um, so with that being, um, I know for myself, I was a painting major, but I also took quite a few classes in printmaking, um, mainly because I was very interested in how prints and painting kind of collaborated. And then I also did a little bit of sculpture towards the end of my senior year, um, which is really great because you're coming here to be an artist. You're coming here to learn all different types and techniques. So why just do one thing? Um, so the transdisciplinary portion of your curriculum here is going to be incredibly important, not only as a student, but also when you go out into the world and become an artist. Um, and with that, we also like to tell people that um, your time here is going to be two thirds studio based and one art and one third liberal arts based. And that just means that the two thirds portion is going to be, you're gonna be in the studio using um, your skills to create work. Um, so usually when you're a freshman or sophomore, you're more in the classroom working one-on-one uh, -on -one with your faculty member, um, or you're working in the classroom doing collaborations, 
Whereas junior and senior year, you're prepping yourself mainly to become either a gallery artist or work in a firm. Um, so a lot of times you're going to be working in your studio, focusing on um, big picture ideas, which we'll get to see the studio's space in just a little bit. Um, but with that, also juniors and seniors, you get to have the opportunity to really work um, with your faculty members. Uh, so the class might be maybe in your drawing or painting and drawing for um, you more or less just have a sign up sheet of your faculty members coming around to speak with you at a certain time. Um, so that way you can actually have the ability to just nonstop focus on your work and but also know when your faculty member is actually coming to have a discussion with you about what you're working on your ideas what's next and things like that. Um, but that also leads us into talking about our faculty members. And this next portion of the video will tell you a little bit more about them. In our active hands-on classrooms, you'll work side by side with faculty who are not only your mentors, but your peers, collaborators, and greatest supporters. They will help you hone your skills in your discipline and challenge you to discover an artistic voice that reverberates far into the future. a few of the faces that you'll be um, learning from at your time at the Art Academy. And with that, um, these are going to be your peers and your mentors. And with that, these are going to be people that already have their network, um, whether that be in Cincinnati, nationally or internationally, so that you get to learn from them, but also their peers and their friends and things like that. Um, it's really great also because the Art Academy is going to feel more like family environment rather than um, a larger school. We are going to be a little bit more petite with around 200 students. So um, the faculty, the number of faculty may seem a little small, but that's mainly just because we are a little bit smaller school. But at the same time, it's great because you really get that one on one attention. Uh, so usually classes are anywhere from um, like one faculty member to eight students. Um, however, if you do have a larger class, maybe there's 25 students um, in a senior class or a freshman class, you'll have two faculty members with that as well. And what's also really unique about the Art Academy is that full-time faculty are going to be your teachers freshman year. So you get to know them right away and they also get to know you and also your work. So it's kind of fun for them too to see how your work has progressed from your freshman year all the way to your senior year. Um, so it's really great just to be able to have a smaller learning environment with that as well. Um, so the next part of the video is going to tell you a little bit more about our facility. Um, and then it's going to be great too because you can see just um, how close students are um, as friends and then also kind of having this family environment too. The Art Academy will become your second home a place of your own where you can invent, experiment, and collaborate around the clock. In our spacious facilities, we'll provide you with all the tools, technology, and support you need to expand your vision and transmit it to the world. Our studios are the beating heart of our creative community, the places where lasting friendships are formed. Relationships we make within our studios and classrooms don't stop here. They radiate outward. 
So a really great part about the facility is that we have so many windows at the Art Academy. It's going to always be bright, full of natural light, which is really essential for an artist to work from too. Uh, you did get to see our studio spaces um, and with those juniors and seniors get first pick. But if there is a little bit of extra space, sophomores are able to get in there as well. And your studio spaces are going to be your space to just be free, create, um, but also sometimes students bring in refrigerators, microwave, couches, mainly because it's your space to just be comfortable and um, create freely. Uh, and it's also really fun because by junior and, junior and senior year, you really have kind of found your group of people. Um, and with mine, it was kind of fun because we were all completely different from each other. So I was a painting major. However, um, there was a sculpture major, illustration major, and a creative writing major. So we were all kind of thinking in different head spaces, but it's so refreshing to be able to just turn around and ask someone, hey, this isn't working. What can I do? What is not working? Um, because that's gonna be something uh, that's pretty rare to find as well. And then also it's great just to have that community or even just walk across the hall to someone's studio and say, hey, I saw you're working on this. Would you wanna collaborate or things like that? Um, again, kind of going back to that small, um, small family vibe that we have at the Art Academy. Um, so the next portion of the video is going to tell you a little bit more about our neighborhood of Over the Rhine. Um, we are an urban campus. Uh, we are in downtown Cincinnati, Ohio, but more specifically, we are in the arts district of Over the Rhine. Um, and with that, uh, it's really great because you're able to walk everywhere. Kroger um, is going to be just down the street from you. Really, I think it's three or four blocks. Um, and it's just going to be a very livable, great neighborhood. So we're also, um, in this portion of the video, you'll learn a little bit more about our dorms as well. dorm life. Our housing is urban loft living. Housing options are located just a block or two away from the campus on streets lined with cafes, unique shops, and the best restaurants in Cincinnati. <laughs> So there was a little bit of like a verbal typo um, there. Our dorms are actually located on the same street as the Art Academy. So it's really great. Um, it's a 30 second walk. So you can wake up five minutes before class, just walk on over, you're good to go. Um, we do require anyone that's not living in the city of Cincinnati, uh, if they're com uh, rather than commuting, we have them stay on campus freshman year. So being in Illinois, we would wanna have you stay on campus. Um, but as you can see, our dorms are going to be more apartment loft style. And that is primarily because we want you to feel that you are part of the community, that you're not a freshman with a bathroom down the hall, um, which that might be great for some people, but we, you're going to be in the city and we want you to feel like you are a Cincinnatian, um, getting to experience all the different fun, creative things that we have to offer in the city. Um, so at this portion of the video, you're probably asking, okay, well, we haven't really covered what kind of job could I have or what are internships I could do, things like that. Um, and I know for myself, my relatives would always joke with me of, oh, you just draw all day. There's no jobs in the arts. Well, that's just a myth. Like that's not a thing. Everything around you has been designed by a creative um, and most likely someone who went to art school. So there are a lot of opportunities for young artists um, out there. And we're gonna go ahead and talk a little bit more th about that in this next portion of the video. 
the Art Academy, it is our mission to prepare you for a substantial and satisfying creative life beyond art and design school. Through internships at top area galleries, museums, and design firms, you'll learn what it takes to connect and collaborate with our city's most celebrated creative innovators. Our Plus B program will provide the professional development support you need to shape a career that fits your vision. Hello, I'm Jonathan Medina. I graduated in the year of 2015. Hi, uh, my name is Gloria Mara Garcia. I graduated from the Art Academy in 2014. My name is Thomas Wexer. I graduated from the Art Academy in 2018. My name is Elise Johnson. I am a 2015 graduate of the Art Academy. And I'm currently a content creator for Ryan Guys Brewery. So I moved to New York City the summer after graduating from the Art Academy. And I now co-run the Midwestern Press with Ryan Kosla and Blake Lipper. I'm currently a MFA student at Parsons in my second year. I'm doing some freelance curating, such as the show, also doing some freelance archiving. The idea of the bookstore and the publishing side is all a form of collaboration. Understanding that everything is in collaboration with the thing next to it. Or before and that's what happens when we're here is like constantly having to engage with each other and ideas uh, what i learned at the art academy is to kind of think about if i could make anything what would that look like so that's when i started getting interested in performance art and that's what i'm still doing now i'm extremely thankful that i still to this day in some way shape or form create work and to have that feeling waking up where I can go to a workplace and what I learn is the best thing in the world. Don't be afraid of making the things you want to see a reality. Yeah, but just understand that they take a lot of work. It's just a place to connect and make friends and feel like you have a real community, which is a great space to have. Don't stop doing what you're meant to do. Just keep on creating. And again, like, just don't stop. So uh, just to touch on that a little bit more, um, with that, it's also great because starting sophomore year, we actually start to push you in the direction of what is life going to look like for you after art school? And that can be with our professional pathways. Um, so there's a lot of different things we had you ask yourself. It's more of, okay, well, Maybe you really love design, or maybe you really love illustration. Does that mean that you want to work for a big firm, or do you want to open up your own design um, shop, or even a tattoo shop? Uh, so we really try and have you think about that as soon as possible. We also give you the resources and networks to make that happen as well. Um, so yeah, uh, so to kind of wrap us up today, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about our application process. So it is very, I'd say easy with that. Um, we have three main components to that. So we'll have the application, which is 100% free. Um, and then also we are going to need your GPA, however. So we do a self-reported GPA. So that way um, you don't have to worry about sending us transcripts until after you've graduated. So you have a little bit of time to get that together. So that's kind of where the final transcript part comes into play. Um, and we also do portfolio review. And that is eight to 10 pieces of your strongest work. And that could be anything that you think is your best work. Um, it could be uh, poems, it could be sculptures, photography, um, a little bit of everything. Uh, we just wanna see what you are the most proud of. Um, and that is also where the bulk of your entry scholarship comes from. So that is anywhere from $6,000 to $16,000. And that is going to also have a little bit of academic merit tied into that. But you're coming to art school and we want to see what you do best um, as well. Uh, however, we also do a four year tuition promise. And with that, we promise that the four years that you'll be here at the Art Academy, your tuition won't rise, which is incredibly helpful. Um, so that way freshman year, you can actually come in and budget um, what those four years are going to be for you and your family. Um, so we really try and help out students as much as we can. We also have a really great FAFSA, um, not FAFSA, excuse me, financial aid department that helps with FAFSA. So we don't just kind of like toss you out. Um, we really want to help you 
get here and then also get that career you really want as well. Uh, and this last portion of our video and presentation today is going to be um, some portfolio advice from our Associate Director of Admissions, Jack Worth. I'm Jack Worth, alumni of the Art Academy of Cincinnati and Associate Director of Admissions. Getting your portfolio reviewed might seem stressful, but it doesn't have to be. I'm gonna go over some tips that'll help you better assemble your portfolio. One, school projects and schoolwork is great, but we love to see the work that you've made outside of the classroom. It shows us consistency and that you're dedicated. Two, experiment. We love risk takers. Unexpected is great and weird is good. Three, what's the concept? Think about the ideas behind your work and be prepared to talk about and unpack those ideas. Four, if you're doing your portfolio review in person, be sure to bring a sketchbook or however it is that you record your ideas. We'd love to see the process and where it all begins. Five, and most importantly, go with your best work, whatever medium that is. Variety is great, but don't force quantity over quality. The Art Academy of Cincinnati requires eight to 10 works of art in order to complete your portfolio. You can submit your portfolio digitally as part of your online application, Come to an open house portfolio review day or schedule an in-person portfolio review with any of our admissions counselors at any time. Can't wait to see you soon. Peace. All right, awesome. So I'll go ahead and stop sharing my screen. Um, so are we having any questions today, Sam? Uh, there are currently no questions in the chat. Okay, and awesome. I think you did a really good job covering everything anyway, so. Thank you so much. I was rambling there, so I really appreciate everybody just being patient with my rambling. Um, I really love this school. I love its mission, um, and we hope you come here. And if you ever have any questions, you're more than welcome to email us at admissions at artacademy.edu, or you're more than welcome to send a virtual visit. We are doing visits um, in person on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. However, if you are interested in doing a virtual meeting with us to do a portfolio for you, or even just to kind of chit chat a little bit more about the school and our program, we'd love to have you there as well. So feel free to reach out at any time. We thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Thanks so much, everyone. We appreciate it.